Okay, Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashon, Yahushai. This is your brother Awar making a video to edify the sheep, the elect the one third of you Israelites, Yahshua. So call hello, Yahweh, Bahashon, Yahushai, Yahweh, Bahashon, Yahushai, Rakathon. Okay, and this is what we're going to start it off with right here before we get into what we're going to be talking about. And it reads Isaiah 29, verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? So this is what the Most High is saying to, to mainly, first and foremost, the Israelites. But this goes towards all men and also the, the, the Edomites, the wicked of this, of this earth. Right, the Most High is asking man, well, he's saying that surely, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. What are things that have been turned upside down? Right, like for example, um, people see that, say, think that the Messiah, who the who the who Yahweh, who the world ignorant calls Yahushua, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, is a so-called white man an Edomite, when he is a he is not an Edomite or a so-called white man. He is an Israelite. From the tribe of Judah, a dark-skinned man, right? That's what that that white picture of Jesus is esteemed as a potter's clay, right? Christianity is esteemed as a potter's clay. And what is Christian comes with Christianity, uh, the that Christian doctrine that enslaved our that mentally and and, and physically enslaved our ancestors, talking about talking about um, that the G Jesus is a so-called white man, right? Uh, on top of that top of that they gave us a slave bible certain scriptures keeping us making us docile saying that you have to love your enemies of the other nations even though all they do is oppress us right they also said with christianity say you don't have to keep the law anymore which is uh, keeping the law not keeping the law they've made it uh christianity's turned it to where it's a wicked thing to to keep the laws of the most high the most high god right it's okay to eat sh shrimp crab and lobster it's okay to profane the Sabbath according to Christians. Right? It's a it's okay to to wear mixed fabrics. It's okay to break a lot all the laws of the Bible because they say that they say that Yahweh died once and for all for our sins. All we have to do is accept him as our personal savior and and we'll be and we'll be saved. Right, and this is one of the this is one thing we're gonna go into right now. Alright, and this is the article it says menstrual cycles are for everyone. Always, which is always is a is a brand, and I also started looking up some things. And always, let's go to let's go. Um, always brand, okay. And there you already see it. Things are being talked about. It says always. Always is a brand of feminine hygiene products, including maxi pads, ultra thin pads, panty liners, and feminine wipes, produced by Pro Procter and Gramble. It was first introduced in the United States and test markets in the spring of 1983, then nationally in May 1984. Right, so uh, you got maxi pads, ultra thin pads, panty liners. I'm not sure what panty liners are. But I guess I kind of know what the maxi pads. I don't even. Know, I don't really know what all these products are. I know girls have tampons. They, they didn't mention tampons here, but I'm sure tampons is one of the products. But this is what the article saying. It says uh, always rem always removes female symbol from sanitary pads following trans activist complaints. And what I when I when I went to go look up was that female symbol. What was that symbol? Was that they they had on there? Was this symbol called this Venus? right which it looks like this and the male has the opposite one which it goes up it's as it as it seems but it says the venus symbol consists of a circle with a small cross below it it originates in late anti in late antiquity as an astrological symbol for the planet venus associated with the goddess venus and hence as an old and obsolete alchemical symbol for copper so you know this already already the symbology of this place has to go with um gods and and goddesses. We well, you know this is an extension of Rome. 
we, we know this is a fourth, we're in the fourth beast, which has had to do with, with the room. Right? But it's ultimately a symbol for, for women, right? Represents women in that, and the male have the, have the, the one that goes up, upwards like this, which I guess it's, it says Mars, I haven't looked into it like that, but, um, yeah, so what you're going to see on here is, as we keep reading, woman's products maker always is at the center of a fresh feminist, V, I guess V makes, and transgender skirmish. After caving into trans activists' outrage and removing the discriminatory Venus symbol from his packaging. So, we know that Always is a brand for females, right? So, these guys are saying that it's discriminatory, the Venus symbol, which represents women, right? That's what the trans are saying. The company will drop the universally, universally recognized symbol from December, following an onslaught of tweets insisting that Women aren't the only ones who menstruate. Does this make any sense? Yo, can you guys, am I, am, does this make any sense right now? What we're reading. Right, so what I did was, I went on Google and typed in, do men have menstrual cycles? Which is that period when the woman drops the egg. Or the egg, the woman bleeds and, and the egg falls out of their, their uh their uterus or or vagina or whatever um and so this is the main quick uh answer you'll find men do not exhibit this cycle male testosterone levels have been found to vary on a day-to-day -day basis with the higher levels between 7 a.m and 9 a.m falling during the course of the day right Guys don't have periods because they don't have a uterus. The long answer is girls and guys have different reproductive organs. When girls get to a certain age, they go through puberty and start to menstruate, have periods. They are There are other changes that happen too. Girls develop breasts and, public, and pubic hair, right? Guys don't develop breasts. We don't have uh, vaginas, so we don't we don't get periods. We don't bleed. There we don't have we don't have eggs to to, for a baby, for our sperm to grow and and uh, incubate babies, and we man's man's body is not built for that. That's what woman's body is built for. So, right from the bat, I'm thinking that this is coming from a woman who thinks she's a guy, who is now saying that because I'm a guy, she's saying that because she's a guy, she has a menstrual cycle. So when she looks at that symbol, it offends them. It's discriminatory. Right? Does this make any sense? And this is the, this is the crazy part too. This is the crazy part. These guys will say they they go in and say that's oppression. That's this. these people don't know oppression, man. Isaiah five and twenty. Let's get this real quick. Let's get this one real quick before we keep on reading. It's Isaiah five verse twenty in the KJV. And this is why Esau keeps going for the the young the younger generation, which you got trans you got these trans in the classrooms teaching reading to ki little kindergartners. You got the uh, the kindergartners are able to decide their their age now. Which I, let me let me see if I can Google that real quick. Decide their gender. Right, um, where is it? Okay, well, here's in California. This was 2019. Uh, it says, California wants to teach kindergartners about gender identity. Can I add all the way up there, huh? Kindergarten is a German word that literally means children's garden. Right? Uh, So they're trying to push this this uh, transgender movement, gender ident identity thing on the kinder, on the children, which is gonna cause the children confusion because the children know the children know that they're they're a, they're a boy or they're a girl. They don't they don't know anything else besides a boy or girl. But but if you go and teach a little child who will believe anything, you tell them, 
right? They're gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna mess with their head, and they're gonna believe it. That's why a lot of these, uh, these transgenders have they they diagnosed with a mental disorder because I don't know the mind of a transgender, but it, it messes you. Know, I'm pretty sure that messes with your head, right? So this is this is Esau is pushing this on on the world. It's Isaiah five and twenty. Woe unto them that call evil good, right? Which homosexual, being homosexual, being a, a, a transgender, right? Being a, a adulterer, um, what else? Be bestiality, which we, in some Euro European countries, and I believe in Canada, it's okay to, in certain circumstances, it's okay to to have sex with an animal, right? That's evil, and the most I say you're supposed to get put to death for that. So they call it one to them that call evil good and good evil. Right, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So destruction's coming to to them, and that's why these people are all destroyed. That's why the the morality of this country keeps on 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 falling and getting worse and worse. Right, this is some somebody's tweet. Hi, always. I understand that you guys love girl positivity, but please understand that there are trans men that get periods, and if you could please do something about the female sign literally says female literally says female sign symbol on your pad packaging I'd be happy I'd hate to have any trans males feel dysphoric let me let me see let me see what dysphoric means wow these people these transgenders are really complain these people are complaining about everything and anything dysphoria is a state of mental discomfort or suffering when you feel dysphoria and we hope you rarely do. You feel this and awful. Euphoria is a state of joy or bliss. Dysphoria is the opposite. It's a state of unease, anxiety, and misery. So this person sees a female symbol, which... Of, uh, yo, you biologically, you're a female, so... You, it's a female It's a female product. It's for females to use. Normal girls ain't, ain't going and looking at this and like, oh my gosh... Why does this have a female sign on it? Ain't girls ain't looking at that and getting and tripping out about it. See, this is and this is causing this is causing confusion and then this is causing division. Matthew, we get in that Matthew 12 and 26 again. Let me get that Matthew 12 26, man. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Matthew 12 and 26. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? This, how are these people supposed to agree? And they're all in. They're all wicked too. You, they, they got that. They could label themselves L, LBGT, lesbian, gay, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and now you can't even. The, the transgender is just making it bear even more harder for people to just keep keep moving forward for for their in their own wickedness, right? So this is what the Most High is talking about. And then if you've seen Dave Chappelle special, he was talking about how there's a he made a an analogy about how the, the state of these people, how they're all in a car, right? And then the transgenders are just making it hard for the, the, the bisexuals, the lesbians, and the gays in their in their fight for their fight for freedom, I guess what they want to call it. Fight against oppression because people don't want to accept, accept them, right? The decision may have appeased a handful of PC keyboard activists, but it has apparently enraged the bulk of the company's customer base, woman that is. Time to boycott always. They're abandoned biological women in their rush. Oh, so this is coming from a woman. They've abandoned their abandoned biological woman in their rush to leap and aboard the woke bandwagon. Political correctness gone mad, and I hope consumers punish them severely. See, of course. Of course, um, the actual woman woman will get upset because they're like, yo, what the hell? You know, I'm pretty sure a guy would be like, yo, why are you taking off uh, men symbols off of certain things? You know? But they see the actual the woman, I can see how, how they cater to they cater to wickedness. The society caters to wickedness, but they want to say, in God we trust. Right? On Like, uh, is it on this bill? It's on this? Let me see if it's on here. Look, look, look at it. The American dollar bill, right? It says, in God we trust. Yo, you so-called, yo, you Edomites are the devil. If this, if, you know, so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. How they, how they ever, 
gonna be post and people and our people will follow this. Our people don't care. Their people want Caesar, man. They want Caesar. This is Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? But our people are blinded to that when we show them through the scripture, the most the most high has, has called them the wicked of the earth and the devil. They can't see it, and in fact, they 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 look at him like he's the best thing on earth. They want Caesar, man. CJV, where is that? Where is that? Uh, I need to get this. I need to get this out. Uh, let me get that John 19, man, because this is this is what our people say. This is what they're saying to us every time we go out on the highways and byways and try and bid them to the marriage. And let them know that you have someone who's trying to save you, right? Who is your Who's your ruler? He was pulling, He rules over you, right? He's your lord, right? And this is and what does it say? Um, when Pilate, I'll just get to the point. And verse 13, when Pilate therefore heard the saying, he brought forth Yahweh, he brought Yahweh forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, behold your king, because he is our king. This is spiritual too. He is, he is our king. He wasn't getting treated as a king. They're mocking him, disrespecting him. They damn crucified him. He wasn't getting treated like no king, but he is our king, right? Verse 15, but they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, we have no king but Caesar. And who is Caesar? Some white, some Edomite devil, man. So they want they want Esau to rule over them. Just like our forefathers in, in the time of, of the Exodus when they wanted to return to to Egypt, even though they're getting oppressed, so our people, our people are finished. They don't care, right? They don't care, and a lot of our people are into this man. This is transgender, uh, LGBT, too. Why? Because we've been destroyed. We've been destroyed, as it's as it reads in Deuteronomy, the curses, right? And this is another female who gets offended or stressed by the symbol for female. I'll tell you, morons. Get a freaking life and stop embarrassing normal trans folk, you honkers. So you can see, like, the regular people are 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 um are uh, not always up, are not always down with this. The majority of the people in the world are are already bugged out, right? But a lot of people still look at look at things that look at things as. Like, most people, the average person, you ask them if the what they think feel about homosexuality. If, even if they're if they're not homosexual themselves, they'll say, "Oh, I, I don't mind as long as they just don't do it around me or don't touch me." You know, but most I say you're supposed to put them to death. You're supposed to, and there should be not even be a law allowing to people to to marry each other as a homosexual. And then these these devils, these demons, trying and, and want to go and adopt children. But I watched this Edomite's video, right? And he's not about it. Even this Edomite's not about it. Right, a lot of people are getting to say. You see, I clicked on one of this video, and this video just got a bare dislikes. Look at that. I was going to the comment section. Why is everyone catering to mental disorders? Never appease the devil. Boo. Women with the uterus get praised. That's why we use these or other female products. Seriously, all this is getting out of hand. Right. So. So as you can see, a lot of people are still not are not down with this. They still think a lot of this stuff is madness, and the elite are trying to push this. This is what they want. They want the the minds of the people to be like this. But the you, it, that's why they target the children. Let's get the junk of the wine. You people have already gone, and the person who's tweeting that they clearly they're clearly um not a child. You know, a lot of these people are are grown are grown men and women, S lost in the trapped in the in the wine of Babylon. They got caught out. Most I gave them up to the lust. All right, drunk on my revelation. 
And this is and this is the result of drinking that wine. Okay, this is Revelation eighteen and and three for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So now they'll always they they because they don't want to accept the elite because they don't want to accept this my smaller percentage of a population, right? They they cater to them and and said okay we will remove the symbol. You see you see that, that's crazy that is absolutely crazy. So this goes to show you that this place is wicked and wickedness on the left hand side is strong in this place. I never knew how you could cater, to, but let let it be Jake. Let this have been something about race, where uh. He, these uh these Israelites, these Negroes got or Latinos got upset about something. They wouldn't they wouldn't cater to them for the most part. Unless it, unless these guys started causing a lot of trouble. Right? So that's what they're getting ready to do. They're getting ready to ditch it. This is just like when uh when uh, Esau Esau came into the I mean the snake in the garden come and whispering in people's ears. Right? Revelation 19 and 2. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, with her wine, man. Right? This is what's corrupting the earth. That great whore, this is America. That's what's corrupting these people's minds. Right? And it hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And ultimately, he's going to avenge the Israelites, the black suspects, and Native Indians that at the hand of this whole land. Okay. Um I also wanted to get one more scripture and then get Genesis. This, this, okay. We're going back to the beginning real quick. So this is what Esau does. This is what the wicked do. They come up in here it's subtle. Alright. Um Let's just go to Genesis 3. All right. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Most High Power had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath the Most... And that's how you know it's not a real, it's not a real actual animal. Because it said he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruits of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the most I have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Talking about the doctrine. Don't get into that doctrine. Don't do do not do that anything that doctrine tells you, or you're going to die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, because they are immortal at this point. They couldn't die. And this this demon is telling, telling this serpent, is telling her, Telling Eve, no, you're not gonna die. You know, don't listen to the Most High. Don't listen to the Most High, even though you're immortal now, and He's showing you that what you're doing is good and keeping you immortal. Don't listen to what God is saying. Don't listen to what the Most High has told you to do. Listen to 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 a mortal man, right? Who's who's whispering in your ears good and smooth things, right? Because this is what He's gonna. He didn't come in aggressive. He didn't come. He didn't go. Hold on to her and shove it down. He didn't do no nothing aggressive. He just came with smooth words, like the devil always does, right? For the Most High doth know that in the day. How does he know what the Most High is thinking? It, that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. But the first thing he said, ye shall not surely die, which is a lie, because the Most High said, lest ye die. If you touch it, you die. If you if you if you eat of it, you'll die, right? Which is going into that doctrine, you. Right, you know, doctrines is like is like honey, which you you know, you get a pre, you can get a precept for that. For that later, actually, let me get that. There's a. Right, this is in Proverbs 24 and 13. My son, eat thou honey because it is good. 
and the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste so so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul right and you see this this uh the symbol is explaining what it means so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it then there shall be a reward and thy expectation shall not be cut off you get another preset whoops was it So lucky. Just looking for the preset. With John. Ten. Revelation ten. Okay, Revelation ten and eleven. I was mixing it up. Right, they said Revelation 10 and 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. So is he literally taking the this the scriptures and eating it? Or is he ripping this, the book up page by page and eating it and digesting it in his, in, his, uh, in his digestive system? No, that's not what it's talking about. Right, and it shall make thy belly bitter. Right, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Right, which is that what it made it bitter is, is the knowledge. Right, it says he that increases knowledge it increases in sorrow. Right, because we know all these things that are happening, and we know we, there's nothing we can do, but it's out of our hands. We got to go through tribulation, and 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 hell before we get the kingdom of heaven. Right, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. It's like, it's like uh, let me get Ezekiel. Thirty three is at like twenty four. So, so lucky. Uh, I'm just doing this raw. But I gotta get these pieces uh, straight off of the top. Sometimes, but I just want to make this clear. All right, 34. This is 33 and 32, huh? Is it got 33 and 32? This is Ezekiel 33 and 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. That's why it's sweet in our mouth because, because it's, it is, we, it's simple for us to understand. This truth is simple for us to understand. The doctrine is simple for us to understand. And it's, and it's, and it's beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's the gospel. Right? But knowing the other side of it that we have to go through hell and tribulation before we get the kingdom is what makes this truth bitter at the same time right and it being in, and it being in our um in our mouth sweet as honey is like what brothers are doing now going on the highways and byways and me making this video right now right it's simple they, let me get proverbs 8 i'm going off a topic getting these, these precepts but Proverbs 8 and 8, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness, there is nothing forward or perverse in them, they are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Okay, so this is this is what it is, man. This is just pure madness and folly, and this, this is how you know this place is a fin of fall. Right? So... With that, I want to say, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.